Hello and welcome back to more Football Manager 20 with me, Mr. Grant 2, and our safe here with Chelsea. And well, let's get right into it really. Uh, two games today that are not necessarily the most difficult, but definitely must win given our recent form. Let's have a look. Last time uh, we did, of course, uh, beat Burnley in the Premier League. That was our first game of the season. It was a win. 2-0. Fantastic performance altogether. We then got... Well, I wouldn't say trashed, but we lost 4-0 to Liverpool in the Super Cup. Um, I think it was quite unlucky. We created a lot of chances, which we just didn't convert. They converted all of theirs, including two that we just gifted them. Since then, uh, we had played four Premier League matches, and it's two wins, two defeats. So, not ideal. We started off really well with a 1-0 win against Aston Villa. Tammy Abraham getting the goal in that one. A uh, good performance all around. Then a 3-1 win away from home against Leicester. That was a fantastic, fantastic performance. Uh, Mason Mount getting his first goal for the club. N'Golo Kante against his former team. And then Tammy Abraham as well, popping up with another goal. That was going really well. Um, we were top of the league at that point. Absolutely fantastic. And then things went a bit wrong. We played Liverpool again. This time it was at Stamford Bridge. And, well, I went for the more attacking tactic. And it, it's safe to say it didn't really work. Um, to start with, we were 3-0 down on 54 minutes, but we did mount a bit of a comeback, um, including a Mason Mount of a comeback. Yeah, uh, William scored, Mason Mount scored, but it was too little too late, and it was a 3-2 defeat, but it was a mm, not the worst performance in the world. Um, we can take it. Positives, to be sure. Less positives for this one. Fewer positives, I should say, for this one against Everton. 2-1 defeat. It's at Goodison Park, so not at home, but didn't really turn up in the first half. Um, or indeed, to start the second, two goals for Everton, Richarlison and Alex Awobi getting them. And then we did pull a goal back late on from Christian Pulisic. Another late goal, but not enough. A 2-1 defeat. Disappointing, although actually looking at the stats, maybe not as bad as all that. Um, we did, if it's going to ever load... Finally, there we go. Um, we did create two clear-cut chances, whereas they didn't create any. And obviously they won 2-1 because that's just how football works. So we've not been playing badly and we haven't really played many games altogether. Um, but we would be nice to get some wins today. We definitely need to. Uh, in the Champions League, first of all, we're going to be playing Genk. And then we're going to be playing Crystal Palace in the Premier League. Now, coincidentally, if we have a look at our Champions League group, um, apart from Genk... Uh, coincidentally, we have got the other two opponents that Chelsea have in real life, Valencia and Ajax. So, pretty pretty tricky. Pretty tricky, it's fair to say. Um, I think, yeah, just, it's not been it's not been ideal. It, it's, been, it's been okay. The defeat to Liverpool's not really an issue. The defeat to Everton is a bit concerning. They haven't had a particularly good start to the season. So, yeah, troubling... A bit troubling, definitely troubling if we can't get wins in these two matches here today. So early doors, of course, but we are currently 7th in the table. It was a bit of a mixed up table. West Ham in 2nd. That's not really a particularly clear indicator of how things are going to go. Um, but yeah, we're not, we're not in the relegation zone. Southampton have no points. Could be a lot worse. Could be a lot worse. Three wins from your opening five games. It's not awful. Not awful. Um, Tammy Abraham's our top scorer, as you have seen from the goal scorers. But otherwise, we've not really set the world alight. Hopefully, we can do better today. So we do have a few players back from injury, uh, having been out for a while, namely Ross Barkley and, most importantly of all, Callum Hudson-Odoi and Reese James, who have yet to feature in an episode. They are back from injury. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we have had a few other injuries in their place. William, who has probably been our best player this season... He's going to be out for six weeks. Marcus Alonso is also out for a week, although he wasn't really getting much game time. Ruben Loftus-Cheek getting closer to returning, but still out for the bulk of two months. So for the game against Genk, then I think it's a good opportunity for us to rotate a little bit, uh, try and prevent injuries as much as we possibly can, although obviously we're sort of lacking in terms of some squad depth in terms of midfield because Loftus-Cheek is obviously... Still injured, so we can't rotate there. We can't rotate a left back either, but I think otherwise we can do a bit. I mean, we could play someone like Billy Gilmore, but I don't really want to run the risk given how we are in need of a win. 
Uh, so this is how we're going to line up. Then Caballero is going to be in goal for his first start of the season. Reese James is going to start on the right-hand side of defence. Rudiger and Zuma are going to be in the middle. Zuma's not really played as much as he has done in real life uh, this season. I've preferred Tomori and Christensen, uh, but we'll try these two today. Emerson's going to be at left-back. He started the season very, very well, it's fair to say. Uh, Pedro on the left-hand side of attack with hudson Doy on the right. Uh, Kante and Kovacic in the middle. Barkley and Michi Bajuai up front. So we should be beating Genk, but they do have a few players of some note. Uh, Sander Berg uh, in midfield is a decent prospect. Certainly someone to watch out for. They've got uh, Iannis uh, Hadji as well, a Romanian of some renown on Football Manager as well. Um, so definitely some threats to watch out for. It's not going to be a walkover, but nevertheless, we should be expecting to win. And if we don't win, then um, alarm bells are going to start ringing. Um, I think I've said this before, very simply, if we, if we have to go into the boardroom and be told we're going to sack you unless results start improving... Um, that is the call for me to have a look online and see if I can get a tactic from someone who knows what they're doing. Reese James with the corner in, and we have a goal. Ten minutes in, Michi Batchaway, um, is it against his former club? I'm not sure. I have a vague feeling he played for Genk, but he didn't say anything there, so may maybe he didn't. Uh, towering header. From the Belgian, though, he's not got much of a looking because Tammy Abraham has been in such fine form, much like real life. But he gets the goal for us there, and we have the lead. Not a single highlight after that goal, uh, but we're coming forwards again just before half time. Emerson on the left hand side has been fouled. We're going to VAR. That looked like it's a penalty. It is a penalty, and it will be taken by number 11, Pedro, and he's been saved that's the first penalty we've had this season um, and yeah not great hopefully that doesn't cost us but not particularly what you want to see I have noticed I mean if you've been watching Dr. Benji Spurs save um, he's had Harry Kane miss what, I think three penalties in a row now obviously Harry Kane does miss penalties sometimes but um, I don't think he's ever going to miss three penalties in a row. Long ball over the top. Sanderberg with a shot for Genk. That was a bit of a heart in the mouth moment. So yeah, I think I think uh, penalty saving is slightly overpowered on the game this year. Pedro on a six point naught flat rating because of that miss. Um, I think yeah, I think let's just take him off. Let's just take him off. Callum Azzanadoy started the last match against Everton. Um, and I didn't put him on the bench for this one, which is which is great. Well done, me. I was going to say, oh, let's bring on Hudson-Odoi. Didn't, didn't even bring him with us. Pulisic is going to have to come on. Um, what am I talking about? Oh, God. <laughs> I was going to bring on Hudson-Odoi. He's literally starting the game on the right-hand side. He's on the other side of the pitch. He's on the pitch. I did not bring him. Oh, I think, I think, I mean, I need some sort of brain transplant, I think. Pulisic is on the pitch, on the left-hand side. hudson Adoy, we didn't bring him on on the left-hand side because he's already on the right. In fact, what we can do, what would be sensible after that moment of idiocy, Ross Barkley's got a bit of an injury. Uh, he's only just come back, so we'll bring on Mason Mount for him. Um, let's move Pulisic and hudson Adoy around because they're better on the other sides, I think. Um, but, yeah, well done. Still 1-0. Um, Genk, though, have won it, and they're coming forwards. Pansil with a similar shot to the one that Berg had earlier. No breakthrough for them. They have actually had more shots on target than we have, which is somewhat concerning. We could go attacking, but I kind of want to just sit here and take take a 1-0, get ourselves a bit, of, uh, a bit of morale back. Ajax and Valencia drawing in the other game which means that winning here is absolutely crucial. If we can't beat Genk, there's absolutely no way that we're going to be going through to the Champions League knockouts. And the board do expect us to reach the, the quarterfinals, which is going to be pushing it. Brilliant. It's a highlight for Genk, just what we need with five to go. Zuma has the ball. He's lost it in a dangerous area. And 
Well, that was inevitable, wasn't it? Brian Hainan. Hey, Brian. He's got a goal back. It's 1-1. And it's an absolute disaster. Kurt Zuma, what on earth is he doing? What on earth is he doing there? Just sort of... I, I mean... Can we sub him off? I'm going to sub him off. No, that's probably not sensible. We've only, there's only three minutes left. Right, fine. We're going to have to go for this. We're going to go very attacking. And it's it's all over, really. I think there's not much hope of us getting back into this in terms of scoring a winner. Obviously, we are selling it. We're, we're still going to get a point unless things go very, very wrong. Uh, but, yeah, not ideal. Not really what you want. Uh, I'm going to take Zuma off. Christensen can come on. Not great. Right, there's a minute of normal time left. We've still got time to win this. We've also still got time to lose it. hudson Adoy with a very wayward pass. Uh, Hadji's in, behind the defence. Samata nearly gets there. Christensen does clear it, but only as far as Euronen. Uh, Hainan, the goal scorer. Lovely football from Genk. Maybe we shouldn't have gone very attacking. Maybe that was a bad idea because Genk are probably going to find a way to win this now. Um, lovely passing from the Belgian side. They're in round the back. This to win the game. And they do. Brian Hainan. And we are 2-1 we are down. Having led for the entire match against the worst team in the group. Uh, we are now 2-1 down through some pretty, pretty shocking defending. I mean, we've not been in this game at all. They've totally dominated in terms of shots on target. Um, really, really poor. There's still three minutes left. Can we get ourselves an equaliser? Having led for most of the game, having had a penalty, a chance to make it 2-0 and seal it. Um, I think, I mean, being very attacking is not really helping us. We might get a chance here. Pulisic with a completely, utterly pointless shot on goal. I say on goal, on onto the stand, and we're going to lose. And having said that these are two easy games that we must win, we have lost the easiest game of the save so far against Genk, and that was an absolute disgrace. Every single one of these players should be ashamed of themselves. Kurt Zuma will not be playing for us anytime soon. After that dreadful performance, Pedro should feel ashamed for missing a penalty. That's really not acceptable. Um, yeah, not good. I mean, that was absolutely dreadful to have the lead, have the chance to extend that lead, especially because Valencia and Ajax have drawn, and then to just completely bin everything we had late on. I shouldn't have gone very attacking, but nevertheless... Kurt Zuma, absolutely disgraceful performance from him. And that was rubbish. That was complete rubbish. So three defeats in a row is not not good, uh, especially when they've been of decreasing sort of uh, expectancy. L losing to Liverpool is fine. Losing to Everton is not good. Losing to Genk is pretty irredeemable. Um, so we're going to go... Back to full strength, or as full strength as we can be at this stage, which is pretty full strength. So Kepa's back in goal. Emerson, Christians, and Tomori, Aspel equator the defence. Kante and Jorginho the midfield. Hudson Adoy and Pulisic on the wings in their more natural position. We drop Pulisic back a little bit. Uh, Mount is going to be in attack in midfield again with Tammy Abraham back up front. Um, yeah, let's hope for a better performance. Now, Crystal Palace, obviously, Gary Cahill is in their defence, former Chelsea captain. Um, very solid side, but we need to win this game. It is becoming pretty, pretty problematic. A failure to win this, certainly a defeat in this, and, well, I think we need to start re-evaluating, re-evaluating my clearly inadequate uh, tactical genius. Emerson with the throw on the left-hand side. Kante plays it back to Jorginho. Back to Emerson, who's being 
pretty heavily pressed, but Jorginho pings the shot in, which Gaeta puts over the bar. Mason Mount with a corner to Tammy Abraham, and the chance once again goes begging. Positive signs early on, though. I mean, there were positive signs early on against Genk, and we know how that ended. Right, nothing happening since those uh, early chances. We're going to go attacking, um, maybe spark a bit of life into our into our team. It, it, I don't know. I don't really see why we can play so well in a couple of games and then just instantly everything turns and we're suddenly dreadful. I feel it should be a bit more of a gradient thing and a bit more of an up and down thing. Um, but there we go. This this always happens to me, every every football manager. I try my own tactic, seems to work to start with, uh, then just completely collapses. Right, 60 minutes gone. We have done nothing. There's not been a single highlight uh, since since the start of the half. We need to mix things up a little bit. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Kante off because he doesn't he hasn't really done anything other than score that goal against Leicester. Um, wingers perhaps aren't working against Crystal Palace. So let's let's switch it up. We're gonna be inverted wingers. Let's see if that makes a difference. Switch Hudson Adoy and Pulisic up. I mean, we could maybe switch into the other sides. We'll see if that makes any difference with them cutting inside a little bit more. Um, we could maybe look for the overlap as well. I mean, nothing is happening. This is at home. We're at home against Crystal Palace. Nothing has happened since those early highlights. Here's a highlight for Crystal Palace. Ball over the top. Wilfried Zaha scores. Of course he does. The assist by Gary Cahill. Of course, nothing has happened Nothing has happened in the whole game. Crystal Palace, long ball over the top, take the lead. Completely undeserved. And not that we necessarily deserve anything either, but they haven't done anything. <sighs> I mean, what, what, what are we supposed to do? What, what can we do? I thought it was going to be a fun episode. I thought it was going to be great. Two easy wins. Um, we, we've got eight minutes left. We are chasing a desperate point against Crystal Palace, having lost to Genk. And nothing's, nothing's going to happen. We've not, we've not done anything at all. Palace don't really deserve a win, but we certainly don't. Um, this is why I use tactics that I get online, because it doesn't matter what I do, um, we, just, we just we lose. There we are. Um, atrocious is the only word for that. Absolutely atrocious. And, oh, everyone's morale is really low. Yeah, well, it's because you are all crap. Absolutely awful. Every single player should be ashamed of themselves. Ah, oh, okay. I mean, back to the drawing board. Do we just literally use the game's own tactic? Vertical tiki taka. Should we just use this one? Just stick with this one. I mean, they're recommending we play five at the back or three at the back. I'm not doing that. Four one four one. I mean, that's it's, that's what we based it on, isn't it? Just just go with this. Should we just play this? Should we just play this? I think we're gonna have to play this because, yeah, that was awful. Really, really bad. Oh dear. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, it's it's going south very quickly. Great start. Love the start. Three wins. Three wins in a row. Now three defeats in a row in the league. Four overall. Yeah, what more can you say? Leave a like if you enjoyed it. I didn't. Um, and I'll see you next time, if I'm still in the job. Um, thank you for watching. Goodbye.